Amigos, what's up? So here we are, Backyard Makeover Part 2. We switched everything from drip irrigation to subsurface. We took out the palm tree. We replanted a crepe myrtle pink. We replanted a bunch of the rose bushes. They're all doing great. They look a little dead. We hedged everything in the front and stay up for the rest. You'll see the subsurface in about three seconds. Alright guys, so here we go. We've been through this walk before. We took care of all the bushes. We took care of all the trash. We were here for about 21 days, you know, so we got a lot done in that area. Of course, we weren't here 21 days, 8 hours, but we were here 4 hours, 8 hours, just in between, you know. So we switched everything. All the drip that you see, we took it out. All these bushes in the back, this tree, we replanted it to the left. You saw that on the first part. You know, all the dead bushes were taken out. All the dead grass was too. The, the big palm tree was replanted, the big front one, and this little one was taken out. We're trying to survive it at home, but we'll see how it does all these areas here were lightly hedged bushes were taken out things were just updated we cleaned out some of the big rocks that were in the area we pulled out some of the old irrigation we've been putting all sorts of water in it to make sure that we get it back and then we updated this area here with the irrigation you'll see what it looks like at the end but that's what it takes fellas we appreciate the owner who let us stay in his house for 21 days working day in day out throughout the day coming and going being a nuisance but here we we are we're done thank you so much and we'll go from there check out the rest of the things that we did the front everything looks brand new and he said that hopefully he's gonna landscape it in a few weeks so we'll hopefully make a part three hey fellas what's up so welcome to the front here you are everything has been hedged everything looks good new red mulch that's what he wanted we replanted a lot of the rose bushes they all went into shock you know it was 104 for a week in california so us trying to survive them was very hard we were in here watering them day morning in between because we were trying to update the water so it was very hard so check out the crepe myrtle it looks great now let's walk to the back to see what, how we did the, all the subsurface thanks Hey, what's up, fellas? Here we are at the Backyard Makeover Part 2. We're continuing on the subsurface irrigation. Just want to show you guys a couple ways of doing it. So we have these bushes here. We had to clean the bottom of them, but you can see the difference in color of the subsurface irrigation. One of them has emitters, the other one doesn't. And here you can just run it. As you can see the color change. I switched it to emitters behind it and in front of it so it'll drip water all throughout there and then we have this side the back doesn't carry emitters and the front does you can see how i sent one through the middle there and then it just follows through as it runs out we have solid again just to get to the other side then this is what you would call the ladder for subsurface you got t's and Subsurface irrigation coming throughout everywhere. Water has to be sufficient and flow freely. If not, the setup won't work. So this actually came out really good. So we have all that. You can see it. I'll show you a quick video of it on and running. So here's another setup. This is for a, a jasmine. Hedged it. So jasmines are drought tolerant. They don't require so much water. So you go from the black solid hose, put emitters on both sides, looks like a football. You want to get extensive, you can run through the middle of it, but it doesn't need it. You know, it's about a 0.6 gallons per hour. So a good 30 minutes, twice a day, we'll get it going. You see there, that one's a little different. It has a eight figure at the end and it just goes, runs up through the plant and you put it straight, no emitters. So that's another way you can do it. Then you also have, you can do a bubbler. And the bubbler does good at the end. At the end, usually they tell me to put 
uh, an eight figure, but at the end I put a bubbler, control the water, and when I turn it off, anything left inside just stays out, you know, it just leaks, so I don't have to really um, turn it on, it'll just leak slowly. All the water will drain out at the end, and that's why we put a bubbler now. I don't like the water to sit in there. Sometimes when it gets too hot, it makes the tube explode when it turns back on. So there you have it. I'll show you a couple more ways of doing it. One more video of the other side. This is temporary. You guys have seen the valves before. I mean, I put the manifold, so we're going to be running solid valves. I'll start my trench up there for the last two valves. I have it going on here. So we'll take another one. Look at the end so you can see how I fixed everything and it looks a little different. So there you go, guys. Let me turn it on, see what it does. it already dripping all the emitters are dripping and it saturates the plants around so it's different you don't have to build anything around them it just saturates the floor all the way around so the roots they're gonna pick it up regardless you know so you see it you can look at this one drips a lot faster so this plant gets the most water and there you go the ladder is one of the best ways and you leave it on for 30 minutes here and it'll just start filling up so it's pretty good you see slowly you know have all that overspray with sprinklers where you just waste water we're in california remember so as much water as we can save and as much money as we can save always benefits the customer for us so thank you for watching this i'll show you the next video on the subsurface of the two other valves and we'll go from there the other ones are just going to have circular forms for bigger trees i'll show you how we do that Amigos, what's up? So here we are. 30 minutes of watering. There you go. 0 0.06 gallons per hour. So this was about 30 minutes, meaning every plant got about a half a gallon per emitter. So, you know, some plants have three emitters. Some plants have four emitters. Some of them have the bubblers. So there you go, 30 minutes. And I just wanted to show you a finished product. Look at that. Earlier you were like, it's not gonna water in time. Well, here it is. You know, um ladder form right here I did something called the hourglass shape so underneath it it actually looks like an hourglass I just crossed them in there and then this is your perfect round form right here this is what you ide ideally this is what you want to see every time you do it so look at it two circles outer circle inner circle I used about nine T's that's the only problem that you'll have a problem with T's other than that best thing you could do for your plants man the saturation of water it'll work great so we're gonna work on it okay so we'll see what it looks like we're running trenches through there okay. we'll show you one at the end amigos welcome back so this is the last time i walked the back i know you guys are probably tired of walking back and forth i know i am so we talked about all this stuff on the left and on the right. We cleaned all the bushes in the back already, which was great. Um, we did it fast, you know, Paola's great at everything. She's getting so good, so that's what helps out so much, guys. If she wasn't that fast, we'd probably have to hire someone. So you guys saw the trench, gone. You can't even see nothing there, just our footsteps. We cleaned underneath those bushes over there. We cleaned all around the dead bushes over here. And that's where he's gonna build his future shed, so he's happy. We got circles around the plants. We got subsurface everywhere, you know, so it's working. The palm tree got double water, triple with the other one coming on the side. It doesn't look as great, but he still has to do uh, paper and mulch like you see in the front, you know. He has to cover it with something. So until then, it'll just be like that. But it gets covered. These bushes will have water, you know. So we come to the other side. And big thing here is that subsurface can be added just to the sprinkler. You know, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube about that. So we simply just connect to the connectors here. And then we put a sprayer up there connected it down here did the same small circles they don't need so much there's sprayers there so they need a little water we got the grape here with the circle of water and we have another bush here with circle then again the infamous end with the sprayer just to release all right thanks to everybody watching please like subscribe 
leave a comment to all my new subscribers thank you so much we've reached 100 um, let's not stop there let's keep grinding and get it done thank you all